Hey everybody, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. It's time to shake it. New t-shirt, by the way, World Drum Club swag. Get it below after the video. In this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you, at a patron's request, some things you can do with two shaker type items. So a little bit more than one, actually double one, uh, what can you do with a kashishi and a shaker, um, a shaker and another instrument? We're going to be looking at a few things you can do to add to your percussion repertoire, your rhythmic repertoire. So let's start off with this uh, DIY shaker that I made. There's a video on that from the Yakult bottles. I love these things. Really nice sound. So obviously we can add the kashishi, and I think I've done a video on this before. Let's review real quick. Um, you can add the kashishi on the downbeats gently and just accentuate the downbeats. Here we go. Okay, simple, right? Let's try the upbeats. One and two and three and four. All right, pretty fun. Whole different feel, right? Okay, now let's switch our hands because I want my right hand, my main hand, that I play, and I practice shaking with both hands, which you should too, uh, but I'm gonna keep my steady pattern in this hand, my main pattern. And then I'm gonna show you something that's pretty cool, and I think you can all try this if you haven't, and that is I'm gonna hold the shaker like this, and you can use a lot of instruments this way, but I'm, I'm using this one because it's it's got a tight sound, and I'm gonna do this little flick. Okay, and I'm gonna experiment here for a second, so bear with me. Uh, and then I'm going to find a way to integrate this little, this movement into the pattern. First, we'll get this going. Okay, so there's some room in there to create different rhythmic, I'm gonna call that an ornament. It's almost like a da 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 like a little rough or flam kind of effect that you could add in to something else. Let me try it with this shaker. I like this, this is a wooden shaker um, and it's round obviously. So let's try that with this. So what I'm doing, da 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 and that's something you're just going to have to practice, find the feeling, uh, it depends on the type of shaker you're using, you know, the size, the weight, all that stuff. Um, let's switch hands and see if I can do it with this, the other way around, just, just for fun. This is what you're going to do when you start practicing with different kinds of shakers. All right, so this is kind of reminding me of uh, maraca technique, right? Like the, 
expert maraca players, which I am not one of, but getting that into that zone of just adding little ornaments. And you notice when I turn this one sideways, right, it got a lot tighter. This way, smoother. This way, obviously, because we're hitting a flat surface. Super tight. So that's a great little thing to know, right? Different shapes, shakers. Obviously, if you have a square shaker, it's going to be different uh, reacting than a round shaker. Okay, you guys, you guys know that. Um, so let's go back to another idea, and that is reinforcing the accents that you're already playing. So let's say I want to play the kashishi, but I want to do sort of um, a rhythm, like a clave type, you know, bomba, tresillo. So this is something I haven't practiced much, but let's say I just want to get something steady over here and then practice a rhythm over here. All right, something you can practice. You can work up different rhythms, different patterns. Um, so I wanna leave you with another idea, and that is just practicing playing a shaker. It could be kashishi, it could be a, a regular shaker. Uh, it doesn't matter, something steady, and then do something else with um, your other hand or foot. Maybe you do two shakers in your foot. A lot of people do all four limbs, you know, drummers, drum set, that's the skill we develop. But for now, I'd like you, if you haven't done this, I'd like you to try practicing with a stick or mallet, get a idiophone like this. I'm using the D minor tinkatong in this case because it has some melodic content, uh, but it can be a wood block, it could be a cowbell, it could be jam block, something like that, or a hi-hat, metal sound, whatever, uh, bell block or something, and, um, and just play some rhythms with your other hand while you're keeping a steady rhythm. So let's go back to this, and we'll, we'll end with a little music, a little shaker music, uh, and remember, you guys, like the channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications, and please get your World Drum Club swag because that's the way to support the channel, and it's a way for you to show your, your pride of percussion, all right? Percussion pride. Is that a thing? I don't know. It is now. All right, and join us at patreon.com slash Kalani. Support the channel. You guys make it possible. This is a member-supported channel. So be a member. Be supportive. All right. We're gonna end with this uh, shaking steady thing. And by the way, if you have any other ideas and you wanna be helpful, leave your comments below. That's why we're here. Okay, I wanna thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave you with a little groove. And uh, this video has all been all about, you know, combining two different things um, in the shaker world and maybe in the stick world too. Thanks for watching.